Welcome to my Xenoblade Chronicles 3 gem tutorial. Today we're going to be going over all, all the gem types and the new type as well as everything else you need to know. So first thing you're going to need to know is the location. So I'm going to be rolling a montage of every location. Pause wherever you need to get the exact locations. But there are some obstacles in the way, but just make sure that you just avoid them any way you see fit. And these are really good farming locations, so make sure to come back here anytime you need. Also, just quick fact, as you know, if you kill an enemy in Xenoblade, you'll get gem drops. That's just kind of how it works. So, you know, they added it back. So just remember to use it any chance you get. So now after you've been farming your gems, grinding those enemies for extra gems, you're going to want to learn how to equip them. So after you do that, you come to this selection screen and you're going to want to open the gem tab. And from here, you can just choose whatever gem you feel fits the character you're playing, or if you're a sweaty nerd, you can run whatever's meta. So because Noah, you know, he needs the man up a bit, I'm gonna select the man up VI gem for him. And to keep this tutorial quick and simple, that's all we have to do here. So we're just gonna close the gem tabs and get out of here. And that's gonna be the end of my Xenoblade Chronicles 3 gem guide and tutorial. I hope you all enjoyed. And um, if y'all are keeping a close eye on this video, you might have saw the extended cut of the Xenoblade Chronicles 3 trailer. Yes, it's confirmed. I'm going to be, you know, putting in everything they cut out from the Xenoblade 3 trailer. I mean, it was there when I was showing all the locations, and it's going to be there again whenever I'm showing all the, the whole trailer without any of the little cuts they did to remove any spoilery content. But you'll see, and it'll be great. See ya.